So we're here at the example table, and in this video we're going to look at the derivatives of sine and cosine. So let's just remind ourselves of what those are. The derivative of sine of x is cosine of x. And the derivative of cosine of x, well it's not quite sine of x, but almost, it's negative sine of x. So let's apply this to a few examples. First, let's use it to find the derivative of tangent. So tangent is equal to sine x over cosine x. So to find the derivative, we can use these two derivatives up here and combine it with the quotient rule. So f prime of x is what? Well, it's the derivative of the numerator. So d by dx sine x times the denominator. So times cosine x minus the numerator, which is sine x, times the derivative of the denominator. So times d by dx of cosine x. And then this whole thing over the denominator squared, so over cosine squared x. So what happens in the numerator? Well, the derivative of sine is cosine. So we have cosine times cosine, so we get cosine squared x. And what happens over here? Well, we have sine x times the derivative of cosine x. The derivative of cosine x is negative sine. So we have negative sine of x times negative sine of x, which gives us a plus sine squared x. And this whole thing over cosine squared x. And now we can simplify. So the numerator, cosine squared plus sine squared, that's the Pythagorean formula, gives us 1 over cosine squared, which we can rewrite as secant squared of x. So that's the derivative of tangent x. Let's check out another example. Let's now find the derivative of secant. So secant of x is 1 over cosine x. So once again, we can use the quotient rule combined with the derivative of cosine. So f prime of x, it's the derivative of the numerator, which in this case is 0, times the denominator cosine x minus the numerator, which is 1, times the derivative of the denominator, which is negative sine of x. And again, this entire thing over cosine squared of x. Simplifying the numerator, we have 0 times cosine, that gives us 0. We have a negative times a negative, that gives us positive 1 times sine, or simply positive sine of x. And the denominator, we still have cosine squared. So in general, you could leave your answer like this, unless you're asked to simplify. In this case, let's rewrite it, because we can rewrite it in a way that, well, I don't know, I think it looks a little bit better than this, and it's a more common formula for more common expression for the derivative of secant, for f prime. So let's write this as 1 over cosine x times sine of x over cosine x. So we're just splitting this cosine squared in the denominator into two pieces, and we're putting a 1 in one numerator and the sine of x in the other numerator. So 1 over cosine is secant of x 
and sine over cosine is tangent of x. And this is the formula that you'll usually see for the derivative of secant.